from WDTN. This is Operation Football. Hello and welcome. We have reached the midway point of the high school football season, week five. And coming up on tonight's show, Wayne, looking to snap a two-game losing streak, played host to undefeated Northmont, a Big Mac showdown between Anna and Marion Local, and a GWAC South leading Xenia Buccaneers hit the road tonight to battle the Butler Aviators. Jack, we begin the night with a battle for first place in the GCL North. Undefeated Carroll paid a visit to 4-0 Chaminade Julianne. Ethan Fitzgerald was at Roger Glass Stadium, and he has the story. Well, there's no doubt that both of these teams circled this matchup early on in the season. Some great news. No rain here at Roger Glass in the first half. Let's check out those highlights. There's no time to waste here. CJ's first play from scrimmage, the junior, Quincy Johnson, gets the handoff, almost goes down twice at the line, but that's heart and hustle, folks. Switches hands on the ball because he is turning up the burners. Oh, my Lord. That's how you start a football game. 60-plus yards. Johnson and the Eagles take a 7-0 lead. CJ has the ball again in the red zone after a Carroll punt from the one-yard line. This time, it's the tank. Marquise Henry plows his way for the touchdown. Here's a hint. He ain't done yet. You just wait. CJ out to a 14-0 lead with 9-13 on the clock in the first quarter. Carroll would string together some nice plays in response. Sam Severt snags this midfield pass from Trent Fox. Carroll getting into the swing of things now. Same drive, another tank. This time it's Frederick Butts with Carroll. Dragon tail with several eagles around his ankles. Watch him work because here he goes again. This time he's got the touchdown and the Patriots get closer. 14-7, eagles still in the first quarter. CJ almost took the following kickoff to the house, but watch out for Carroll because John Lejunas snags this one. What a name. Lejunas never looks back as the Patriots storm back to tie this game. 14-14, three minutes left in the first quarter. Remember when I said CJ's Marquise Henry would strike again? Well, get your popcorn out because he's out there putting on a show. Who will take this kid down? The answer is simple. No one. 21-14 Eagles as time winds down in the first quarter still. And again, I'm not making this stuff up. Following a Carroll fumble, Henry just does what he does best. Run, truck, and score. CJ has a special player right here. Eagles start pulling away in the second quarter. PAT no good. 27-14 Eagles. Just before halftime now, CJ is still red hot, and so is Ryan Miner this season, playing in his last game as he rolls out and finds Matthew Willis for the touchdown. Eagles put up 33 points before heading back to the locker room. Well, CJ had that big lead going into the half. They come out victorious. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Fitzy. CJ wins the high scoring battle versus Carroll 61 to 30. Our thanks to Athletic Director Jeremy Greenleaf and all the great folks at Chaminade Julian for hosting our tailgate party. Be sure to join us next Friday for Bellbrook at Valley View.